Russia has refused to reveal the production secrets of fifth-generation jet fighters for free. India, for its part, has decided that a deal is not appropriate for an aircraft that is not up to being called the fighter plane of the new millennium. At the end of April India pulled out of a joint program with Russia to develop the advanced multi-role fifth-generation fighter aircraft or FGFA based on the Su-57. India explained its move by saying that the Russian design doesn't meet the stated requirements, while the plane's Russian-designed combat avionics, radars and sensors are not up to fifth-generation standards. At the same time, India says that it is prepared to consider revising its plans in the future and even to purchase serially produced aircraft from Russia if they come out on top in a tender. So why has India refused to finance the development of the project to design a fifth-generation jet fighter for its air force? So why has India refused to finance the development of the project to design a fifth-generation jet fighter for its air force? The joint project with India was problematic from the very beginning and according to ACU experts, the refusal to develop the Indian Su-57 has nothing to do with the aircraft's failure to meet the requirements of the new era. Initially, in 2007, the sides signed a contract under which the Indian side invested to the tune of $300 million in the development of the design and technical blueprint for the future aircraft. At the same time, the subsequent cost of research, first prototypes and development of a full production cycle totaled $6 billion, which Russia paid for out of its own budget. That is where the disagreement started. Launching production of Su-57 fighters in India meant passing all the technology of the new jet fighters to Delhi. The Indians decided that, since they had invested $300 million in a project with a total cost of $6 billion, Russia would immediately pass on all its research. But since there was no such clause in the contract, Moscow refused to reveal all the information to the investors. Pavel Bulit, director of the Mechanics and Energy Systems International Laboratory at the University of Information Technologies told Russia Beyond. At the same time, following the maiden flight of an experimental prototype in 2010, India said it was ready to purchase 214 FGFAs, the Indian version of the Su-57, but only if they were produced exclusively on Indian territory. According to Pavel Bulit, Russia is prepared to pass on all the technology and reveal the production secrets of the Su-57 jet fighter to India for no less than $5 billion. The Indians, in turn, say that for this money they can independently develop a fifth-generation fighter from scratch themselves. The Indians will be able to buy the first serially produced prototypes from Russia in a year or two when the Sukhoi company develops a full production cycle. At the same time the arms manufacturers are not hiding the fact that the aircraft still needs a lot of work. Still, in early December 2017 they achieved a breakthrough and got the first Su-57 with a new engine into the air.